What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Line Surgeon and I am back home from the GIE. Long, long week. It was well worth it. Every year. Um, but something happened before I left. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> it's better if I just show you. Say hello to my little friend. Okay, as y'all can see, that's Frank and Teller. Looks a little funny. Yes. Before I left, Frank and Tiller broke in half. So, he's done. All these years, I um, tried to push it and uh, keep it going, but it looks like I'm going to have to break down and buy a new Tiller. Um, and look at this. I just had a... I had a bad week right before I left for the GIN. <laughs> I was out air raiding and one of my cinder blocks crumbled and I just picked all the pieces up and just put it back on the air raider and kept on moving. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta get this job done. Then, if y'all see this mess I got here, I'm doing the flower bed. I didn't even start, I should have filmed it from the beginning, but I might film it uh, when I get my new tiller because that's what I'm gonna be doing today. But uh, as you can see, I got a whole bunch of fill dirt. I filled up some areas of this uh, flower bed that well, wasn't level. Used some fill dirt, and now we're going to throw a whole rack of topsoil back on top of that. So, uh, my trail is a mess. My tiller is broken in half. And I got to go get a uh, new tiller today. So, let's get on that. All right, people, I had to stop at uh, 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 fix another problem. I'm gonna have a time this season, bro, with tires. So, on the, on the right side, y'all remember I was dealing with that issue with that tire, I made the video a while ago, right? So I went, bought a brand new tire, and it was on my back axle, right side, right? So I'm driving in the city. I'm at a point where, you know, the county kind of turns into the city. So a curb, in the county, we don't have curbs. And so I was coming around a curve and a curb magically appeared. And I just looked in my mirror and I was like, my tires gonna hit the curb. Boom! You know. I'm surprised one of some of my equipment didn't fly off the trail I hit that jump. So I was going about 40, you know. And as soon as I hit it, that tire went flat instantly. It, it just like exploded. <laughs> so luckily, the good thing about having a dual axle trailer, I limped it back home, put on this other tire, which was my spare tire. It has, the tread's a little low, but it's a spare tire. Come to find out, that got a nail in it. So it got a slow leak. <laughs> so, you know, what are you gonna do? So now the tire that I blew out, I'm gonna take that back to the shop, get a brand new tire for that. But you gotta get time, bro. I was so busy right before the uh, GIE that I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, I, I just kept every, it, 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 the, the leak is, is slow. You know, it'll last probably like a week. You know, five days to a week before it all starts getting real low. So, anywho, we are getting a tiller today. So, <sighs> um, Frank and Tiller. For those who don't know about Frank and Tiller, uh, I got it like years ago, at least like five years ago from one of my customers. Uh, she had it in her yard. She asked me, could I take it to the dump? And I said, well, what's wrong with it? And she said, uh, nothing or whatever. 
her husband, you know, her husband passed away. So she essentially gave it to me. I asked her, could I keep it? She said, yeah. So I kept it. It started with the old motor, which was a five horsepower, and then, <clears throat> you know, it stopped working. So we put a new motor on it. Then that one started leaking oil. Then Romeo helped me put another new motor on it, which wasn't my new motor. It was my motor from my other push motor. So after we put that on it, it worked fine. So, you know, I mean, it's not the prettiest thing. Oh, well, it wasn't the prettiest thing, but it, it got the job done. That bad boy was heavy, had weight to it. It, it dug deep, hard soil, whatever. Um, and I liked it because it was a front time tiller with weight. You know, a lot of front time tillers these days don't have as much weight. You know, because people are, are, as Arnold Schwarzenegger would say, puny humans. You know, they, they can't they can't handle the heaviness. But back in the day, I guess, that's a Sears, original Sears brand mower. I think it had to be 70s, 60s mower. I, I, I need to look on the label, see if I can figure out the year it was made before I get rid of it. But um, it was good to me. But I had been contemplating this year, actually, it was kind of funny. I had been contemplating this year about getting a tow behind tiller. Uh, if you don't know what a tow behind tiller is, it's like, it's basically, y'all know I love tow behind attachments. You, you hook it up to a, 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 a ATV or mower and it has its own motor. You start the motor up, you put it in gear and it starts tilling and you just tow it. And the reason I want to get that is because I'm starting to grow in the fact of people wanting me to do lawn restorations. And I needed something, you know, I have tilled up people's whole front yards with Frank and Tiller. This light is just horrible. Hello. Um, I have tilled up front yards with Frank and Tiller. It takes me forever. Uh, so I was thinking about getting that. I was going back and forth with it, and then Frank and Tiller broke in half. So, kind of answered my question because I can't get the tow behind Tiller now because I still need a, uh, a walk behind Tiller to get in small areas. So, I said instead of trying to get something small front time like Frank and Tiller, I just go ahead and take a step up and get a. Uh, rear time so on to what type of tiller I am trying to get <clears throat> uh, I have been for years the type of tow behind tiller I was looking at was the uh, 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 DR equipment tow behind tiller which I looked at them at the GIE um, and I like that tiller it, it has the option of the time's going forwards or backwards, depending on how hard the soil is, which, you know, I, I, I till up everything, so I like that. So I was looking to get that, and then um, I was going to order offline, but then people was like, well, not people, the people at the, at the GIE was like, well, if I order offline, then I got to put it together. It's best if I go to a dealer and <clears throat> get them to... Uh, put it together for me so that's what I, I did when I got back home I started calling to one place is closed today another place was open they had one DR tiller that I wanted but uh, it was already sold and he's but the guy said hey you know we got a club a cub cadet I was like, oh, okay, so uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to look at. You know, I looked at a Cub Cadet up online, and it looks very comparable to the DR Tiller. Um, you know, I would like to get the DR Tiller, but they told me if I wanted to order, it would take a week, maybe two weeks. And like, as you might have know, <laughs> my tiller broke in the middle of a job uh, right before I left, so I need to get that job done. So if I could get that tiller today, I could be out and about working on uh, Monday and, um, you know, 
be back at it. So that's where we're going. Yes, sir. All right, people. Haven't been back from the GIE for a full 24 hours. And I'm already making purchases. <laughs> there she goes. Cup Cadet RT-75. Wow. There's a lot of cool features about this thing. I'll probably talk more about it when I get home, but uh, one thing I'll show y'all right now is the, uh, so the neck swivels. I pull this or I push it. Which one I do? I pull it. There we go. And it swivels like this. And get it in gear. There we go. So now I can walk to the side and not walk in the path of what I'm telling up. Well, there you go. So pretty cool. Should be. I think I got the brake on, so I'm gonna tighten up that strap, head home.